Hello everyone, TeddyWood72 here, and I thought I would make a little drafting 101 tutorial for you guys. Uh, mainly just for those that have no NASCAR background, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. Just a little bit of information about the gameplay. This is at Daytona, one of the two plate tracks on NASCAR the game inside line. I'm Eric Almarola in the number 43 uh, Richard Petty car. Um, it's a Ford for all you Ford fans out there. Uh, basically, and what, what we're going to do is... I'm just gonna, <laughs> you're gonna watch the screen and listen to me talk about how to draft. Um, so basically what drafting is, is, it's when you use another car to go faster than yourself. And you really need to utilize that when you're at Daytona or Talladega because you basically won't go anywhere unless you have another car. Now right here I get a huge run off these cars so I'm gonna pass all of them. And then I'm gonna jump back up in line and follow behind this car. Now you see the two little white tails, so that means I'm in the draft. And I'm going to jump down below him to try to catch up to Danica, but she left me out to dry, so I'm going to still keep going past her. And then after I get past her, you're going to see her drop in behind me, and I drop, and I come up to the top. And then she looks low, so I kind of block a little bit, and then I come back up to the top to get in line. Now, when you want to draft correctly and you want to bump draft. There's two kinds of drafting. There's just drafting where you're running in line and then there's bump drafting. Bump drafting is where you actually use your bumper to push the person ahead of you. Now to bump draft correctly you want to just give them little taps or get latched onto their back bumper so to speak where you just kinda you ease up on their back bumper and then you can just push them around the track. Sometimes what people will do is they're like oh I want to bump draft they'll go up and they'll ram the back of the car that's actually bad because you can slow down both you and the car ahead of you because what you're doing is when you're ramming them you're lifting the back wheels of the car ahead of you off the ground slowing him down so right here I'm in the draft I'm gonna peek low because I'm gonna go underneath him now McMurray is gonna jump down in front of me here and I get up behind him so right here we're bump drafting and I give him a nice little push kinda hit the brake there so I don't hit him harder and then I push him along. So right here I'm going to pump, bump him again and then I'm going to get up right behind him and I'm going to push him. At that right there, you don't want to hit that hard, that's bad. Don't do that. But right now this is perfect. But when you see that the his spoiler kind of raise up that high in the ground, off the ground, that's bad. You don't want that. You want to keep a nice smooth level, stay on the gas. Um, if you're gaining on him, right here I get a huge run so I just jump to the inside. And then I'm going to get him to under, get in behind the 95 here and follow him right back in the draft and that's also what another thing you need to realize is when you're running in the draft you're gonna get a huge run on people like right here I was so far behind him that I got a huge run on him that I was able to jump right up next to him but right now we're bump drafting on the bottom here me behind I believe that's Ryan Newman in the 39 and I'm gonna peak low but notice how I go nowhere because I'm by myself but then they started slowing down so I'm gonna go up past him and I got a hell of a run down the back stretch and I'm going to jump inside of Juan here, give him a little tap, and then get underneath, and then see how much momentum I lost there just from that little tap. That you don't want that. You just want to you want to be nice and easy. Patience is is the key when you're at these play tracks. You don't want to be antsy. And then so right here, I'm going to jump underneath of Kurt Busch, and then I'm going to go in behind Clint Boyer, peek low, get right back up behind him. Because watch, we're going to go really. We get a lot faster here once I get up on his bumper right here. Now watch the two cars on the top. We go right underneath of them, and then I'm going to peek to keep up, keep my engine cool. Because if you're, if you have the settings um, in the game to where you get damage on everything and like you can have failures, your engine will actually overheat from bump drafting for too long. So you got to like let you peek out and let your engine get some air to it. And you uh, you can tell that by the thing on the right, right there with the little bottom of the wheels. If you keep tapping Y, it'll switch over to engine and the engine will be green if it's okay but it'll start turning red the hotter it gets and so right here I came off the corner hit him a little too hard and had to jump to the inside it didn't really work out but he doesn't have anybody behind him like I do so I'm able to pass him and now these cars on the outside are gonna fly past me because they're looking how much closer they are the closer you are to another car the faster you go when you're in the draft and one other thing is you don't want to like leave somebody hanging if you've been pushing them don't leave them hanging I'm gonna do it later on in the race to kind of like as an example but right here I get up under I get behind Bobby Labonte I'm gonna push him push him keep pushing him and I'm hoping that with me being below him he's gonna jump down and we can go past the car ahead of him but he didn't want to do that so 
we go, we get underneath of Truex here, and we're gonna keep going, and then I'm just gonna stay behind him and follow him. But and he's gonna peek below here, and he doesn't really do anything. And right there, I have to let off the gas because you can't go below the yellow line on the plate tracks, or it's a penalty and some stuff like that. Silly NASCAR rules. So, but then I get a nice run on him, and I'm right back up to his bumper. So we're we're. We're in the nice draft. We're in a nice little two-car tandem here. I'm going to push him along, push him along, tap in the brake when I need to. And right there, I hit him a little too hard and made his bumper. But look at how fast we're going right now. Just because I'm, I'm on his bumper, we are flying right now. So after we get past those two, I'm going to stay latched to him. I'm not going to pass him. Why? Because if I pass him, we are going to start slowing down. If I stay behind him, we will speed up and catch the two cars ahead of us. So I'm going to stay behind him until we catch the two cars ahead of him. What I see a lot of people do in these YouTube videos I've seen is they'll they'll get a huge run on somebody and they'll jump out past them and then they don't ever catch the car ahead of them. The way the game plays for me is if as long as I'm behind a car, we're really fast. But if I'm out ahead of a car, we're really slow. But see right here, I jumped out, I jumped in below, left him out the dry, and now watch him just drop back in the in the mirror as me and Kenseth are hooked up here. See right here. And then I'm going to jump inside. This is what you don't want to do. You do not want to jump inside of somebody right here because even though I'm close enough to the cars ahead of me, we could have stayed tandem or stuck together and we would have caught these guys a lot faster than me just trying to gain on my own. But right now, you see two cars up top. I'm going to jump down low with Earnhardt Jr., I believe. And notice how we're not going anywhere and the other two are stuck together. I'm going to jump up, get in with those two, follow them and then Casey's going to jump to the inside and I'm going to go with him. I give him a nice little push so we get a nice little run going here. I jump in we f and I, we go past him and then we're I'm just going to follow Casey because the leaders had, have actually broken away from these three guys and so like unfortunately I'm not going to be able to win this race because they were they're at least 10 seconds ahead of us and there's only one lap left. If I had probably two more laps we would have caught him and probably been able to win. But since I can't win, I'm just going to go ahead and follow him, breathe air into the grill, cool up down the engine if you have those settings, just peek out a little bit, jump right back in behind him, and then I'm just going to follow him because we're faster together than I would be if I was out ahead of him. And I don't know why the game's like that, it's just I've always found this game that just seems like you can go faster together if I'm pushing than I am in front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow him, and also it's faster around the bottom than it is the top, but the AI is, for some reason, when you're just two cars by yourself like this, they're supposed to run the top. But anyway, so I'm going to catch up to him. I'm going to get latched on his bumper right now. I'm just right stuck right to the back of his bumper. We're not. I'm not tapping him. I'm just, hit, I'm just completely stuck to the back bumper. He's going to pull away a little bit, and then come out of the corner, I'm going to pull a maneuver called the slingshot where you stay in the draft and then you're gonna poke your your nose out and you're gonna get this huge run on the guy like right here I'm getting the run and watch how close this finishes I got him at the line I took a few pictures I hope you guys liked the video don't forget to like favorite and subscribe leave a couple of comments thanks guys